If you ever meet someone new and it's amazing, like the best you've ever had, and you start to talk about thinking that maybe they're your soulmate or your twin flame, and they're promising you the world, this future together that it just sounds unbelievable, too good to be true, <clears throat> be, be careful there. It's called future faking. Narcissistic abusers or toxic people will literally promise you the world with no intention or ability to fulfill it, right? I like to say, I'm in my deaf era. I don't, I can't hear you. I want to see actions meet words. I want to give time. So I'm very strong proponent of the 90 day rule. 90 days, no hand-holding, no kissing, no sleepovers, no exclusivity, no hugging. So we don't get physically addicted to a human being. That way the oxytocin, the love hormone isn't flowing. Because imagine what happens here. We get literally addicted to the chemicals this person is creating in our body before we know who they really are. I'm in my deaf era. Fuck you. I can't hear you. Show me actions over words give it time what's the rush narcissistic abusers will want to lock you in as fast as possible right oh i thought you said that we were only seeing each other oh i thought we were going to move in together why what's the hurry the hurry is, is that they're terrified because a timer starts when they meet you that you're going to discover who they really are and they need you to be fucking addicted before that happens that way you'll put up with a bunch of shit over a long period of time so they can take from you whatever it is the fuck they want to take from you. They want to control you. They want to confuse you. They want to keep you locked in. They want to rush. They want to hurry. The fastest way and the easiest way to determine whether or not this is a healthy situation is to ask yourself, is this sustainable? If it's too good to be true, it probably is. All right. And if you're new here, my name is Dylan. I'm a narcissistic abuse survivor. So please follow if this sounds like it could be helpful to you. Um, go ahead and email me. I do do one-on-ones and I do have some, some time slots open. So go ahead and go to my bio and feel free to give me a, an email. I would love to work with you. So hope this helps.